Hey, I have another unboxing video. This is the monthly subscription box from Scout Comics, and I'm a little worried about this one, so stay tuned. All right, so in the, this unboxing video I've got for you today, this is the Scout Comics monthly subscription box. And I'm a little concerned because this is not the typical box that I get from Scout Comics. Uh, it's typically sent in a legal sized like envelope or, or shipping container. And then inside it has a nice branded origin white Scout Comics box that I have thoroughly loved. And uh, Scout has been typically one of the highest rated sources for comic books uh, over the last two years for me. And so I want to unbox this with you and take a look and see if they've changed their packaging. And if so, are the books still in that high quality that uh, I've grown accustomed to? So let's get to the unboxing and take a look. All right, here we go. Let's get this thing opened up and take a look at what's inside. Yep. Yeah. so it's as I suspected... Uh, there's a few packing peanuts, obviously, but gone is that really nice, sturdy uh, Scout Comics orange and white branded box that I talked about. Um, they're not using it anymore? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so it still has like sort of the two smaller bricks of books wrapped in bubble wrap. So we'll get that going, get that undone. But interesting. So... I don't know what policy has changed or why they got rid of those. Uh, why they got rid of the, the box, I should say. But um, I'm hoping maybe they did some experimentation and just decided uh, to help keep the cost down. Maybe they just uh, decided to move on and just use a standard cardboard box. All right, so I'll just go one stack at a time. Lots of tape to make sure the books don't slide out. And again, that was one of the benefits of using that really custom, uh, custom, uh, customized shipping box because the books wouldn't slide around. It was like the perfect size for comics. So let's take a look and see what we got from Scout this month. All right. So as part of their Black Caravan imprint, this is Gods of Brutality number two. It took me a second to, to read the, the trade dress there. Uh, Gods of Brutality number two. And if you haven't ordered from Scout before through their subscription service, uh, the reason that I keep up with it is really, you know, a few reasons. Uh, great stories uh, from the, an independent publisher, getting them uh, directly from them, obviously. Uh, the second one is, again, the, the quality of books. These books are almost always 9.8. Uh, again, rare exceptions with ash cans and an occasional uh, uh, dent or, you know, spine damage on some of the books. But uh, has, again, if you're looking at the, the numbers that I publish every so often, uh, has the highest quality rating for books. And then the third reason that I stick with it is because of the price. So right here you've got that $3.99 cover price. Um, the subscription box, when you divide it across all the books, you're getting the books uh, for a lot less than that cover price. Here's Buy the Horns number seven. Um, so I have issues one through seven. Uh, big fan of Jason Muir and his art. Uh, but thanks to the subscription service, I have every issue of that series. Swamp Dogs, House of Crows, number one. And what's nice is these these Black Caravan, uh, which is a scout imprint, the covers on these are matte. So when I take them out and grade them and screen them, they're super nice. I wish every comic had that cover, that, that, that paper quality. The Lunar Ladies number two, Snatched number three, 
and Broken Souls Ballad number four. Again, so there was three Black Caravan imprinted books with the matte cover. And the reason I like it is just, uh, I love the paper quality when you're holding the book and reading it, but also uh, I can show you here in the bag, but uh, sort of similar to the cardstock that you see with uh, like DC books, um, very, very difficult to uh, damage those unless there's some sort of in-transit damage on the book. So there we go, that's the first stack. Love these uh, bubble wrap bags. I save these and uh, when I have to ship out multiple books at a time, I will use these, these bags, these are great. Okay. All right, and in, on occasion, you will get uh, some sort of special or ash can as part of your uh, monthly subscription, and this is uh, She Bites Ash Can, uh, and this is typically where the uh, overall score hurts Scout, just because these ash cans, it's only like two or three pages. They're super thin and very susceptible to damage. Um, this one looks pretty good. Again, I'm just kind of giving it a once over in the bag without taking all these out, but that looks pretty good. Here's the electric black, the dark caravan, not to be confused with the black caravan. Uh, so this looks to be a one shot based on the electric black universe. Cool looking cover. Redshift number four. This is a series I've been meaning to, to read, um, and again, thanks to the subscription service, I have issues one through four. Another Black Caravan imprinted book. This is the Epic Tavern's Tales from the Fantastical Crimes Unit number one. That's a mouthful. Uh, pretty intriguing cover. Looks kind of fun. Another number one issue. You get a lot of number one issues in the subscription. Here's another one. Headless number one, season two. And again, all of these are at that $3.99 price point. I'm not paying $3.99 per book when I subscribe through Scout, so I'm getting it for a lot less. So that's awesome. Provenance of Secrets. Uh, again, keeping the theme, is, I think half the books were at Black Caravan. This is a, another first issue. Uh, like that cover too, that's, that's cool. Um, but yeah, just really, really great shape. Great paper quality on these, uh, love it. So almost can guarantee that the majority of these books are 9.8. And the last one here, uh, North Bend, season two, number one. Again, looks really, looks to be in really good shape there. So uh, that uh, that's it for this month. Uh, a really great selection of books, again, from Scout. I was a little worried there with the the switch over to the um, just the standard cardboard box, this, this thing here. Um, so if they've switched out, I would say just at first glance, it's not hurting the quality. Uh, I honestly think those, the bubble wrap bags, uh, those really work well. Um, just the way that it, it completely uh, surrounds the book um, or, or the stack of books. So there is that, they continue to use that. But I will miss the, the branded cardboard box from Scout. Uh, like I said, it was perfectly shaped and sized for shipping comic books. Uh, but it looks like all the books arrive with no impact damage. Uh, so good on them once again, and I'll continue to be a happy uh, Scout subscriber. Um, so that's it. Thank you for watching, happy collecting, and see you next time.